Welcome to the Real Estate Sit Down presented by Double B Homes. My name is Blair Berg. Today we're joined by Dan Sherman, and we're going to be talking about real estate photography and just how important that really is to the selling process and how he got into it. Thanks for coming on, Dan. Of course, man. Thanks for having me. Really excited to be here. Yeah. So to touch on that right away, your background, how did you get into real estate photography? Um, to be honest, man, it, it's not, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird, but I really, uh, I, I wasn't a photographer when I started. Okay. Um, never really touched a camera, honestly. And, uh, I was an engineer at the time and wanted to start a business, okay. uh, that kind of, you could get into and hit the ground running. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like three years into being an engineer and I was like, I can't start an engineering firm, you know, three years experience. Yeah. Nobody's, nobody's hiring me. Um, so I, I was like interested in real estate investing and that kind of thing. And was kind of in meetups and that kind of thing around the industry. And I was like, mm -hmm. wow, you know, this is a cool industry to be a part of. Right. Um, so I kind of zeroed in on real estate and I was like, I want to be a part of this community. And, uh, I didn't want to be an agent. I don't know why I just, uh, at the time, you know, like now I, I see what agents do and I kind of understand it a little bit better. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, maybe I would have liked being an agent. I don't know, but I, I'm, a, I, <laughs> it's yeah. definitely not for everybody, but yeah, it, it definitely isn't. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it was one of those things where I was like, you know, what else can I do that's in this, in this space? Right. Yep. Um, and I came across photography and just saw like a, a need in the market kind of deal. Right. Um, and one thing that's kind of cool about real estate photography compared to other types of photography is it's a little more calculated. Mm -hmm. Right. So it kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm used to instead yep. of um, like wedding photography where you have to be artistic and, mm -hmm. um, you know, you have to have everything perfect. Right. Like yep. if you miss the kiss, your settings are wrong. <laughs> yeah. You're done. Uh, dude. Yeah, that's it. That was the biggest shot. You yeah. missed it. Yeah. Hang it up. You're not getting paid today. Yeah. Um, so the nice part about real estate photography is like the house doesn't move, right? So if I if I nudge the camera while I take the picture or something and it comes out blurry, I just press the button again, right? Mm -hmm. Um so really uh yeah, just kinda came up with a, a process that we thought would like make some really cool photos. Um and yeah, just kinda brainstormed for it on a while and for a while and just started kinda letting it rip. Did you like start by shadowing anybody or did you just hop right into it just hopped right into it yeah nice. i mean like kind of um you know did a lot of research right mm -hmm. um on like what other people were doing and kind of found some resources and um i'm very thankful for that um and we kind of use as a launch pad right or mm -hmm. like ideas that we could use to like build into our process kind of yep. deal um so ours is like completely different um, we kind of came up with it on our own but it does take like bits and pieces yep. of, of a lot of those uh like established more like um, regular real estate photography processes. Okay. Yeah. I noticed our, and we is, so is it's you and who else who's. Yeah. So we have, um, we're actually kind of going through a bit of a change right now. So we, we have a small team. I would say four people, um, right now, I'm trying to hire a fifth and a sixth. Okay. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we, uh, it was, it was honestly my, my own, um, mistake being a new business owner, but we hired two college kids to start, mm, Okay, um, which was, you know, thought it'd be a great, you yeah. know, and it, it was a great, um, great experience, but they got, they got jobs. Like one of them was a finance major, right? Oh, okay. So yep. he, he got a, like a big boy, not a wall street job, but like kind of a, yeah. you know, a finance job. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was kind of one of those things where it was, you know, I didn't really think about the, how temporary that would be. Right? Yeah. So we, we poured a lot into him and, um, and he was great. Awesome. Awesome worker. Um, nothing but great things to say about him, but we're trying to, so we, we lost him to a, to an internship a couple months ago. Um, so we're trying to hire on a couple more. So we have an editor, me, um, admin, and then, um, looking for two photographers. Okay. Any photographers out there? Dan's looking. Yeah. Um, so indeed.com. <laughs> um, so that's great. So how long have you been running this now? So we are three years as of last month. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been, it's been pretty cool. Um, it went really fast. Yeah, yeah. it's just like amazing. It feels like it was yesterday. Yeah. What areas do you guys service mostly? Um, so we, I like to say just the Metro, Metro okay. Twin Cities. Um, you know, it kind of depends um, as, as we've grown and gotten bigger and busier. Um, we've kind of cut down the, the amount that we're willing to drive. Right. Yeah. Um, just because like if we can do, say it's like two hours away, we could do, so that's four hours total, yeah. two hours there, two hours back, four hours like we could do four properties yeah, right? exactly. in theory if they're, if they're close to each other. Yep. Um, so for us to protect like our, our business, you know, we kind of have to start cutting that down or when we weren't busy, it's like, Oh yeah, there's not, you know, we have a, a piece on the schedule. We yeah. can pitch in. 
Yep. And, um, you know, have a reasonable mileage cost. Mm -hmm. Uh, but kind of as, yeah, as we grow and we get busy, that mileage cost has gotten less reasonable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, to be able to pay our bills kind of thing. So, um, I would say, you know, within an hour of the center of the cities usually is, is kind of where we're at right now. Okay. Um, but it is variable too. And I guess I should ask, you can get the name out there. What is, what do you call your company? Uh, stainless real estate photography. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, no real. I remember watching a, a business podcast and they were like, Hey dude, don't, don't take too long deciding the name or else yeah. you're never going to do it. And looking back, like probably should have done something else. Right. Some people are like, Hey, you do like cabinets, right. Or stainless steel. Yeah. I'll uh, say when you, when you, f I could, I think you followed me on Instagram. Um, and when I saw it come through, I just now put it together actually that it was like very recently because <laughs> I thought it was like, yeah, I thought it was like a stainless steel company, but yeah. no, hey, but I mean, it is. it is unique. But I mean, talking about not come taking too long on a name, mine is just my initials essentially, double B home. So yeah, I love that though. You know, Which, it's simple and it's like it, it has a meaning behind it, right? Yeah, well, and it's funny too because I guess from far away, I've been told the B kind of looks like a D. Yeah. So they think it's like a funny thing. And I'm like, oh, maybe I, I got to change the font on that. But <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think you're safe though. Oh, you like, either way, you'll remember it. That's the thing. I, <laughs> that's the thing. It's like you, get the, you can get the benefit of mm -hmm. like kind of the the funniness of it right? yeah right people talk about it and laugh about it but then it's like you're safe because it's like whoa it's a b brother yeah you know, like, <laughs> exactly it's a, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah so getting into just real estate photography what kind of equipment does that require um yeah so we um it kind of depends on uh for like so for the photography itself okay um you know camera we use really wide angle stuff okay um just to kind of make make rooms look big right um, there be there comes a point where you get too wide mm -hmm. and you, you get into what's called a fisheye lens. I don't mm -hmm. know if you're familiar with that. Yep. Um, but yeah, '90s, 2000s music videos, right? Yep. Where it's like everything's like turns into a circle mm -hmm. almost. Um, so we kind of cut it off right before it gets too bad, like the distortion, right? Because we don't want curved walls. Yeah. Right. It makes it look like structurally mm -hmm. unsound. Uh, some people still ask for it, but we just don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so wide angle stuff. Um, we bring our own lighting on site, okay. uh, which is a big part of our process and really helps us um, like take a lot of variables out of the equation, right? Um, that would lead to um, a house photo, like photographing bad, right? Yeah. So when we bring lighting in, you know, I, I always say like, um, you know, like ask your like niece or whatever what, what it takes to get a good photo. Yeah. They'll say, yeah, we got to get good lighting, right? Yep. Um, so that was like a big, uh, you know, big control that we wanted to put into our, into our process so we could, um, not have bad photo shoots. Right. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's, that's like the, you know, the main part, um, we do, we do a lot of stuff though, you know, like 3d tours and floor plans and, um, everything kind of has its own equipment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the more we expand and the more stuff we offer, it's just like, you know, we just stockpile equipment mm -hmm. you know and then multiple people and we get multiple sets and yep. uh, it's amazing how how fast you start stockpiling stuff yep. for sure i'm sure um well it's funny too because i can tell by the pictures when i see a listing if it's gonna if it's a discount brokerage pretty much if mm -hmm. it's like they got like iphone pictures or they're super dark i just for just for laughs i'll scroll down I'm like i know the payout's going to be less than 2.7 percent to the buyer's agent on this one mm -hmm. and lo and behold it's like one and a half or two percent because the discount guys like go in there with a phone and i think it's funny because i've had so many conversations with people like oh houses sell themselves these days like we don't need you to do anything i could take pictures on my phone and put it on facebook marketplace and i'd get just as much money I'm like go for it i know most of my clients like they're, if you're on a house search and they're scrolling through listings and they see those iPhone pictures, they can't even get a really good idea of what the house is, and they'll skip if oh, they yeah. don't have good pictures. Well, like that, and then like what it comes back to is that fiduciary duty, right? Yeah. So like, if if you're not willing to spend two hundred bucks to make your client, you know, a few grand, it's not good, dude. Yeah. Um, and like the, and the thing is, like, me being like an investor or a buyer, being on the buy side before, I've never sold a home, but I bought. Like, I see that stuff, and I'm like. The, the pool of people interested in this home are, is going to be less, which will lead me to be able to get a better deal, right? Exactly. Average. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's 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 amazing how many people still think that way. I think it's shifting pretty quick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you get some some old school cats who like they just they, like you said, house will sell itself, and uh, MLS does everything. And yeah, which is just crazy to me because it's literally it's a pretty simple equation. It's 
more exposure equals more offers, more offers equal more money. And good listing photography is like the very first like foundation, like stepping stone to that, like mm-hmm. getting the eyes on it. Number sure. one. So yeah, I didn't, like I said, I have, there's a lot of people that, I don't know, they're always like, oh, I don't need an agent to sell my house. But then they ask me like, what do you think I should price it at? Or like, what should I do for photos? I'm like, I thought you said you could sell it by yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, had to be a consultant, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what is a typical day as a real estate photographer look like? Uh, to be honest, you a lot of driving. Yeah. I would say more driving than ph- photography. Mm. Um, it just kind of depends on, you know, the houses where they're at. Um, but yeah, we're, we're in the car. I mean, you know, an average house, assuming it's ready and, and prepped well, um, take us probably 40 minutes, something like that. Okay. Um, so we kind of have it boiled down and we can get in and out of there pretty quick. Um, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of driving in between, um, is the thing. Um, but yeah, load up all my stuff in the car in the morning. You know, I, I look like, I don't know, I make, I feel like I'm like the rock or something. I'll have like four bags on yeah. me and a tripod and yeah. they're, I'm like, I got like the X cause they're like shoulder bags. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, load it up and, and, you know, drive, drive around the city and photograph a bunch of houses and get home and, you know, start editing them all. Um, so it's a little simpler than, you know, yeah. um, you might think, but it's just, yeah, driving around, get the pictures, get the info you need. And how long, how long does your editing process usually take? Um, so that's kind of like what, what sets us apart. We have a pretty, pretty crazy editing process. Um, so I always say like the, when you're on site doing photography, it's kind of like gathering information, Mm -hmm. right? So we'll take like five to eight photos, depending on, you know, just kind of like the composition of that specific photo. Um, and then we actually crunch them into one. Okay. So it's, it's kind of cool. Um, so like, for example, to see out the window, you got to take a really dark photo because it's so much brighter outside than it is in the house. Mm -hmm. So like the one where you can see out the window, it'll be completely black, the house. Interesting. And you can see the window, right? Like yep. the trees outside or whatever it is. Um, so we take the window out of that one um, and just kind of, you know, take the information from each photo, each yep. exposure that we take um, to kind of like make our finished product. Um, so ours is like a little, and you know, I don't know what everybody's doing either, um, but it's um, from what I've seen and like what the standards seem to be, um, it takes a little bit longer than, um, or it's a little more complex Okay. What a lot of people are doing. Um, so yeah, it takes, I would say, you know, the average house probably takes three hours, something like that to edit, okay. uh, and 40 minutes to shoot it. So like, that's really, you know, where the majority of our, of our time or, you know, our cost goes to. For the yeah. Part. And I think it's funny too. It's a lot of behind the scenes work in your profession, just like it is in mine. It's, I think a lot of times people are like, well, why does it cost that much? Like you're just taking pictures for like 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. It's like you my drive time and the editing is the real like sauce. It's like anyone can come out and take pictures. It's your pro it's your editing process, which is probably like the money maker. Mm -hmm. Um, well, yeah, but the same thing for you, right? Like, like you just think, Oh, the the house sells itself, right? Yeah. That's what people say. And then it's like, but they don't understand like the, the groundwork you're putting in the hours that it takes to like prep this house to, you know, communicate with everybody and make sure everybody's, you know, properly mm-hmm. communicated with and on the same page, you know, contractors, you have to schedule me, you yeah. gotta, you know, maybe you have to clean the carpets. Maybe you're in there, you know, vacuuming before showings, you know, <laughs> negotiating, doing all that, like paperwork stuff in the background. Yeah, totally. Oh, absolutely. But so what is your pricing structure kind of look like? Um, so we, um, we wanted to make it kind of easy to do. Um, so we just charge by number of photos and then we let the agents choose, um, the number of photos and then everything else is treated as an add on. Um, and that can kind of depend on the product, um, for like 3d tours, for example, we have to upcharge if it's like our, our cutoff is 3000 square feet and we start to bump it up. Um, but there's certain stuff where, you know, it just kind of takes, it takes more work, obviously, right? Bigger house, more scans, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, we want it to be, to be simple. And then like, we don't want you, if your budget's lower, like say you, you take a commission cut for whatever reason, or, you know, we don't know what happens, but if your budget for photos is only so much, you know, we can do 25 on a, you know, 5,000 square foot house. Right. Yeah. Um, instead of like, we would recommend probably like 50. Yeah. Um, but we can kind of, in that case, we just kind of choose the best 25 that we would deem the best to market the property. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's kind of, you know instead of being locked into a price for a certain, you know, a certain home, it's a little more variable. So we thought that would be uh, beneficial. Yeah. I guess I should have asked too, are you the only one doing editing or is like everyone on your 
staff that is photographers, like they also know the process. So no. So we, um, we kind of have, everybody does their, their thing and kind of get good at your thing. Right? Okay. So it's uh, like Henry Ford kind of thing, like assembly line kind of yeah. deal. Um, so yeah, we have, um, we have an editing, um, we have one editor right now. I'm looking maybe soon to get another one. Okay. Um, that does all of our editing. So oh, okay. um, the reason that we did that was to make everything consistent. Yeah. Uh, so the photographers go in with the same process, hopefully give our same editor the same information and mm-hmm. then everything will look the exact same, no matter who your photographer is that comes out on site. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Cause consistency is obviously what you're aiming for because you don't want to get like, one client gets really good service. The next one's like, well, what was your editor doing on this one? So For sure. you, exactly. <laughs> so it sounds like, you know, exactly who's doing the editing. Um, yeah, try to. so we're talking about with pricing, what are just some of the different like features that you offer? Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, like, um, so I know like items that are, yeah. Services? So we're talking about, you know, 3d tours. Do you guys do like drone shots or anything like that? Oh yeah. Yeah. So practically like we do everything is what I like to say. Okay. Um, one thing we stopped doing was like, kind of like, uh, the lifestyle, kind of videos just okay. because we've had a, we've had a ton of real estate business and uh, it's been hard to keep up with that portion of it mm-hmm. um so the like the lifestyle stuff it's a little bit less locked down okay right and before when we started i would just do it mm-hmm. and it was cool and you know i could have a consistent product but it's something where there is a little more art you know kind of artistic yeah. flair into it um where the houses are a little more you know locked down we have our process let's go um so that's one thing that we stopped doing. But other than that, I mean, we do uh, floor plans, 3D tours, virtual staging, um, drones. Um, I, I forget half the stuff, honestly. Like it, I when I tend to list it out like this, I like forget something every time. Um, virtual, um, virtual twilights. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I love those, man. Yeah, so do I. Um, it's just yeah, it's just crazy the, you know, like where the technology is at today. Well, it's funny too because I think. Almost every other buyer I have, they go, they like, we might step into a house and they're like, wow, real estate photography has gotten really good because the house does not look anything like they were expecting. I'm like, yeah, technology is pretty good because, yeah, we, I mean, it's like credit to your industry because, yeah, real estate photography has gotten very good where it's like it even, even the crappier houses, like people are going in with high expectations because the photography is so good. For sure. And that's like, that's one thing, like it's been it's been something to like tiptoe morally, right? Like, um, if it's like our process makes houses look good. Right. Um, but really we, we have like such a hard line that we don't, we won't put in anything that's not there. Yeah. Uh, besides like virtual staging, mm-hmm. right. Where you, you have to disclose. Yeah. And that's disclosed. Staged. Yeah. Um, and it's not something that's going, you know, it's not, um, the house isn't going to be sold with that furniture. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but we don't put anything in that's not there and we don't take anything out that is, um, except sometimes if there's like boxes, you know, we can remove yep. them for an additional charge, but nothing that's like, um, like nail holes, right. Mm-hmm. We, we won't take those out. Um, we won't fix grass. If grass is like dying, uh-huh. we had a drought last yep. summer. Um, people will ask and you know, it's, it's sometimes, um, you know, you hear about other, other photographers doing it and well, my last guy did it and it's like, mm. yeah, sorry, bro. Your last guy's going to get sued eventually. Yeah. And no, we, which is, yeah, which is really good. No, I think it's, but it's crazy. Just like to your set, like to what you said about lighting and stuff, like in the correct lighting, it's, I mean, it's real. It's yeah. just staged just, properly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just, uh, and that's the thing though. If you, if you walk into a vacant house with no lights, right? Like you go into a living room and there's no lights, yep. it's going to look creepy. Mm-hmm. Right. But our photo is bright as heck. Uh, so that's kind of, You know, it's one thing where it's, um, you know, bring lights in. If you're, you know, if you're showing a house, you know, put, put some lamps in there. Yeah. Uh, try to make it, try to make it close. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, but you know, we can't, we can't always control what, what everybody's doing either. Yeah. Uh, Just try to, you know, tiptoe, you know, do, do what's right morally. Mm -hmm. It's kind of been a big, um, a big point for us is just to be, yeah. Try to treat people right and do the right thing. Yeah. No. And I mean, that's a great way to do business. That's how you get repeat business so um i guess any is there anything else that you think that you know anyone should know about real estate photography um you know i think i think a big thing um a big thing that you know i try not to beat people down or bug people too much um but prepping the house is huge and just having that communication with the seller um is is so big um and the way i you know tell agents to phrase it is think about it in terms of your dollar per hour when it comes Mm -hmm. to cleaning your house out, 
um, and, you know, getting stuff out of there, you know, um, cleaning windows. Um, I always say glossy surfaces are huge, right? Um, you think about like a black car, the car is black, but the, the, um, like the shine, like the glare is white. So yeah. you can see it's such a big contrast. You can mm-hmm. see imperfections. Yeah. Um, so yeah, glossy stuff, dark surfaces. Um, but really ideally you'd want to clean everything to the best, you know, the best you can. I mean, if it takes 10 hours to clean, you might make an extra two grand, right? $200 yep. an hour. Uh, that's, you know, that's the way I try to try to say it to sellers. Well, they should be thinking, I mean, you are selling a very large asset. Mm-hmm. So to get mad at photos that aren't good because you couldn't clean your own house that you're hoping to make money on, I think is pretty outrageous. So Yeah, well, and nobody, <laughs> like, nobody comes at me like, hey, what the heck? Yeah. You know? But it's really like... Um, it helps our it helps our photos look so oh, much for better. sure it's it's just night and day um, when it's properly cleaned um, staging's nice um, it's not always in the budget for every house but um, you know staging helps and then just uh, yeah just um, getting stuff ready and and being ready for us when when we get there so like dogs not being there yeah and, you know kids running around that kind of thing because um, it's you know, not to say, and this is more like not just our business, but every photographer, every service person, like, um, if I would like to say that we, you know, we try everything we can to minimize mistakes, Mm -hmm. but if there's kids running around and it's like, Oh, well, I got to clean up this room. Can you come back to it later? And like, you know, you know, just a bunch of crazy stuff, Mm -hmm. the chances for a mistake to happen goes through the roof. Right. So I can minimize every, that's like part of our business, right? Minimize the chances for mistakes through our system. Um, but you know, I think, you know, relaying to the homeowner that, you know, getting stuff ready so they can minimize our chances of making a mistake is big too. Yeah. No, it sounds good. Is there anything we didn't touch on that you want to throw out there? Oh, you know, I don't know, man. I, yeah, I think that's a, you know, full, full circle real estate photography breakdown. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. No, it sounds good. So, I mean, yeah. Dan, great photographer. He's doing a lot of good stuff with stainless. So if you're within like an hour of the metro area, look him up. I'll have all of his links and everything in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and book him. Um, Other than that, thanks for coming on, Dan. Yeah, dude. Appreciate you very much. Great talking.